Everyone is safe for now, but take a look behind me. This is still a very active scene. As you look at the doorway of 37th District Court, the FBI is now on the scene. They put on hazmat suits to go inside and field test this suspicious letter and the white powder that was found inside. When this first started a couple of hours ago, all the district court employees were moved from their building across the walkway over here to the police department. They have now since been sent home because the court is closed for the day. Police are telling me this letter was originally sent from Chrysler, not to the court. The court was not the intended destination, but to a third party. That letter was forwarded to that third party last week, but then it came back stamped by the post office as undeliverable. That's when a clerk this morning opened it, found the white powder inside. That's when police and fire were called. There's possibly four people that could have been exposed to it, so they'll be going to the hospital. Uh, we've got in contact with the FBI. They have their own protocol. And we have our own uh, hazmat team here that they will, they may be taking the substance, and but we're in the process of investigating it. What time was it, and what are you going to do now? Uh, I'll go home, call everybody, not tell them not to show up. Yeah, that man had a wedding set for 2 o'clock here with a justice of the peace. That has since been moved over to Warren Mayor Jim Fouts' office to happen at 1.30. But I've had several people stop and ask me what's going on with the court. 37th District Court is closed for the day while the FBI continues to field test this suspicious letter and white powder. Nothing confirmed at this time, but everything is shut down as a precaution as they continue to investigate. Joanne, Glenda. All right, Jim.